So you're asking me, what am I doing with two gallons of milk? Well, in this video, you're going to find out how two gallons of milk is going to make you a better pumicer. Stay tuned. Right there, I'm giving you a nice bird's eye view. Chuck, can we get a timer, please? Boom! That is done. Straight up, I got a 4x36 brand new muslin buff. We like to take these, throw them in the water, let them soak nice and soak. You don't want to dry uh, rag wheel. All right, here's the important thing. You got to open this up and let it breathe. Let it get all oh, roots and it's got to get soaked. If you don't, you'll have uneven pumicing. Next up right here, I got CL85, medium grade pumice. It's beautiful. It sticks to your hands and everything because my hands are wet. All right, this stuff's beautiful. Now you want to take nice brand new pumice, put it in your tray, load it up. Sweet. Water to add to the pumice. You don't want it to be too soupy, but you don't want it to be too dry. So right there... It's still pretty dry. You want to go a little bit soupier. Get in there. I can do a little bit better than that. That wasn't a lot. There we go. Let it soak in there. Brand new pumice. Now, it's pretty... Pretty wet right there. Let the new stuff soak absorb into it. Because you want it to be not too wet, but not too dry. And bring in this dry stuff, mix it up. You want it to be nice. Right there, that's perfect. The idea that's is to get the right pressure onto that rag wheel safely and to do this as fast as possible without any physical damage and take all the scratches out and be ready to polish. So how do I do that? Well, I came up with a method and this is going to be something that if anyone's watching this, they will learn. You will be able to teach your employees. You just say, Hey, just watch this video, do exactly what Steve says. And you will have, you'll master this. You'll be pumicing these things in no time. Perfect with effortlessly. So how did I do it? I came up with a plan. It has to do with milk. Yep, that's it. Organic milk. No. This, my friends, is a gallon of milk filled with water, completely 100%. And this is what you're going to practice with. This sounds stupid, but wait, there's more. What's better than one gallon of milk is two gallons of milk. Or I should say two gallons of water. I put these water, I put the water gallons back to back. And there's a reason why. Just wait. So very simple. This, these two gallons touching are full of water. And you need to know the pressure on how to touch this rag wheel as it's going. In low speed, by the way. As it's... As you're adding pumice and hitting the wheel, you need to know the pressure. So I I closed my eyes and I pretended that this is a rag wheel right here. And what I did is I measured out how much water, how much weight it takes to push against this. And then that way you'll know exactly how much pressure to put on. If you put two gallons full of water, that's 16 pounds, I believe. If you pretend that you're pumicing and pushing on it, and it, you see how my, my gallons are moving? That is the exact amount of pressure. 
For instance, if it's one gallon, this is nothing. It's nothing. So when I'm, when I'm pumicing and polishing, this is way too light of pressure. If you can move this. But if you take, like I said, you take the two gallons, 16 pounds, and you're moving it, I'm putting pressure on it. That's the exact pressure that I'm using, that I'm pushing on, on this wheel as it's spinning. So, your homework. Grab two empty gallons, fill them up with water, put them back to back, and get that feeling of what it feels like to push. That is the pressure. I've taught so many people, and like I said, they're either pushing too hard, too soft, taking forever. You should. I am pushing on this retainer the same way I was pushing on these milk gallons. Two full gallons is the exact amount that I'm pushing on it. Low speed. Grab a handful. You want to keep that pumice feeding it 